What up guys? So today I'm gonna talk about a question that my buddy asked me. He just started the game. He was wondering like what sort of character he should make. He was asking me uh, what what he should level up. Health, magic, stamina, that sort of stuff. And I figured I would get him started off on kind of the, the key things that are essential in the game. So the first piece of advice I told him is to make a sneaker. And a sneak dagger user, a sneak archer user, anything like that. And so the first thing I told him to do is to power level sneak. What you do is you go to High Hoth Grard or whatever like that. It's pretty much in the main storyline. You do the starting quest to that. You do a few starting quests to that. And then they, you eventually make it to this place called the Greybeards. Which, well, the Greybeards meet at High Hoth Grard, or however you pronounce it. Anyways, you go talk to these bastards and when they're done giving you their lecture and teaching you all their shouts they send you on a quest but they kind of ignore you and turn their backs to you and you can sneak attack them get it up to 100 in like 10 minutes and I like that a lot um, <clears throat> the other piece of advice I told him is that he should power level well he does this he should power level but one thing that I did is I didn't put any talents in and I got a character to level 41, I think it was, before I even put any talents in. And Brenton is probably the best class just because they get resist all magic 25%, which is really cool. But pretty much what you can do with the Greybeards is just sneak attack. Oops. He gets paralyzed and shit like that, and he dies right away because I'm so powerful now. But when you have an iron dagger he won't die so fast and you can just chain attack him over and over again your sneak will go up so fast to level 100 it won't even be funny and you'll get the, the skill shadow warrior and you just disappear when you attack people and it's really cool alright so yeah level 41 you power level all the skills before putting any before leveling up at all so you just power level sneak and then what else I did was I power leveled uh, alchemy like to almost 100 and I put a bunch of talents into alchemy and pretty much I put seven talents into that because you get benefactor and the beneficial poison potions that you make benefit the other two talents that are kind of a grind which are uh, smithing you power level smithing and then you power level enchanting and enchanting and alchemy kind of get cool stuff together so you can level enchanting and that'll buff alchemy and it'll buff smithing and then alchemy will buff enchanting and it'll buff smithing so all of these things pretty much are made to just buff I mean and look at this two enchantments on the same item I mean you get resist max really easily you can get anything you want out of that if you want to be a spellcaster spells don't cost any magic if when once you go into that and you can go into two categories with the dual effect smithing I always like to go in at least to daedric because daedric is the best weapons for smithing and it's also the best heavy armor if I can get there. Yeah, Daedric Smithing. That's the way to go. Um, and then what else I did is I power leveled a bunch of other skills just to get the level up because it's really easy to power level those skills. And Sneak is just badass, so I kind of put all the talents into that. And I got the times 30 sneak damage with the daggers. I mean, look at this. Alright, so you've got times times 15 normal damage when you sneak attack with a dagger and then I wear gloves that's back or blah that dust uh, that backstab damage is doubled and any dagger damage that you do while sneaking is called is considered back blah, backstab damage so it's actually times 30 and actually even says the times 30 I pretty much one shot dragons on master so it's kind of hilarious and since I have shadow warrior I mean, crouching stops combat for a moment and forces distance opponents to search for a target. It's just retardedly good. And then, I, I mean, because I, I'm at level 53, you know, I power leveled a whole bunch of stuff. So, like, while I was power leveling all this stuff, like, I power leveled Illusion with Muffle. Like, I just chain cast Muffle in a town, and I just chain cast Conjuration on a dead body that I find. And because I have enchanting already maxed, I was able to do that for zero cost. And I could just chain do it over and over again. And it went up in like 15, 20 minutes to 100. Gave me a bunch of perks. So I can pretty much just, like I have five perks that I haven't even spent yet. I don't know what I want to spend it on. Um, the other cool thing is while I was leveling that up, I'd also beat the, uh, the, the Companions Guild in Whiterun. 
And when, once you do that, all the companions will follow you and they will, most of them will be able to train you as well. So I just sat there and said, oh, train me in this while I'm leveling up. So it, so it was pretty cool that I got free level ups out of uh, archery and stuff like that once I would already picked my character. Um, pretty much what you want to do first off though, if you want to power level those three things at once. So pretty much if you want to power level uh, alchemy, blacksmithing, and enchanting right off the bat, another quest you can do right off the bat to get enough money to fund these po things to power level is uh, do the Dark Brotherhood quest line. You get 20k gold at the end of it, as well as uh, the gold you get from doing each quest and a bunch of sweet quest rewards for sneaking and whatnot. So once you do that, you'll have enough gold to, to go to the vendor and... Uh, you know, just buy a stash out and keep making potions and, you know, pretty much anything. But, I mean, this is just a random potion that I make. Let's see if there's anything decent that I can make. It doesn't look like I have any ingredients, which is like whatever, but... Oh, that's really bad. I have a whole bunch of gear that enchant in it fortifies it as well, but... Oh, yeah, that's bad too. Alright, well, I'll make... I'll see if there's any good potions I can buy real quick just to show you how much gold you can actually make from these bitches. And I know that she's got something because, I mean, it's that's the alchemist vendor. Let's see what we got here. Wow. She's got, like, nothing I can use. What a douchebag. Let's use a salt pile in a river beddy. Let's just try that out. I'm sure that's going to be something like 500 gold, but... Once I put my gear on, once you get the gear going, not the magic. Let's go items. Apparel. And I have it all so organized. So everything that says hide, it really means it is a alchemy. It's alchemy gear. Alright. Now I'm wearing a whole bunch of alchemy gear. I'm going to make a sweet ass little potion here. Hopefully it's like invisibility or so. it's slow. Yeah, it's gonna be a sweet ass potion. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Just fucking 2k gold, one potion. Boom. Not even a big deal. And look at that. I'm level 99 now. Whatever. No big deal. Um. So yeah, you just level that up. You get pretty much infinite gold by the time you're done with it. So it's actually worth it in that sense alone. It doesn't take incredibly too long. I guess it does take sort of long. But the reason you power level a guy by doing that first, and if it's hard, just put it on novice, and it won't be it won't be hard anymore. It'll just be fun. Um, like the gameplay, you you don't even need to level up until you reach like level forty one. The people get harder, but as long as the gameplay is on novice, you can do it. So pretty much the reason you do it to level forty four, you level those things, is because it's almost important to have all those things anyways in almost any class you want to make. But. Uh, that way, you'll be able to make multiple classes. I know the first time I made a class, I was pretty upset that I would have to start over again, leveling up all the way with another class. And I just wished I would have had someone with all these things previously leveled so I didn't have to go through it again. So I made a character, and I was like, well, fuck it. I'm just going to power level right from the start, and then I'm going to save it. And then anytime I want to make a new character, boom, all I need to do is load my saved game and make a new class so, so what he has the same name. So what, he's a Brenton, best class in the game. Um, yeah, just quick tips, I guess. I guess another little cool tip I have is how to buy the... Uh, let's just go and load one of these games. Yeah, right here. This is, this is a pretty sweet game. Right here, it's a trick on how to get a free house in Solitude. And I'm sure you can do it with any house that you want. After you do, I think it's like four or five quests in, in the City of Solitude they let you buy a house for 2500 or 25,000 gold, which is a lot of fucking gold, so I can understand if you don't want to pay for actually pay for it. So I found a way that you don't actually have to pay for it once you have it or once you have the gold to buy it. And I think this might work with anything, like if you have the gold to buy it, all you need is like probably a helper and they'll be right next to you, but what you do is you talk to the guy, you say I like to purchase a house in the city, and then you say I'll take it, and then you press B right when you say I'll take it, run over here, quick, go into the cupboard. Oh, I didn't make it. All right, let's try again. Because the goblet was in the way, I didn't make it. 
Let's just try again. Blue Palace. Load Blue Palace. Yes. And my girlfriend wants to talk again. Just give me a few minutes, babe. I am showing some cool people some cool shit. <clears throat> but yeah, what you do is you pretty much talk to the guy. And right when you say, I'll take it, you press B. You run over to the cupboard. Here, let's just do it right now. I'd like to purchase a house in the city. I'll take it. B, run over to the thing, search cupboard. Take all of your gold, miscellaneous. Scroll down to gold. And then you go store. All of it. And he goes, oh, there you go. And that works on buying all the other stuff. Like, you just get it for free. He just gives it to you. The game is glitched. Pretty cool. You get to keep all your gold. You can pretty much just, oh, I want to kill you. Nobody sees you. Look at that sneak damage. Look at me just murder these bitches. Nobody sees me because my sneak is so freaking high. Because I'm such a freaking god. They don't even see me, dude. Like, oh. Right in broad daylight. And I can just murder these guards. It's on Master. I'm not even joking. Look at that. Sneak doesn't scale with difficulty. So you can just fucking rape shit as long as you don't wear any any armor. I mean, I'm just wearing the just just clothes because it's pretty good stuff. The armor I could replace with stamina regen or stamina stuff so I could roll more, but really it's it's ridiculous. Um, did I want to say anything else? I kind of told you guys everything that I know right now. Let's go back to the first page. Maybe I said some more stuff. Oh yeah, light armor is okay for sneaking, I suppose. I haven't really tried it too much because you don't need armor when you're as good as me. Um, one way to level light armor and heavy armor is go into like, here, I'll just go into this really cool place over here. I go up to the Solitude Castle and I pretty much just sucker punch a guard, like I melee a guard, and then they all attack you, and as long as the difficulty's on novice, they won't kill you. Yeah, I don't need to show you. You guys understand. You just aggro the guards, put it on novice, wear good light armor that you made from having blacksmithing so high, or good heavy armor that you made from having blacksmithing so high. Sit and ha let them punch you for 20 minutes, and your skill will go up to like 100 in both armors, and that's another cool way to level. Um... Even if you don't wear armor, I'd suggest doing it because I just like having perks. It makes your class more versatile. The bad guys don't really get any harder because you sneak. I, I sneak kill everyone and no one can mess with me either way, no matter what I do. I mean, I one-shot fucking dragons, giants, badasses. Anyone pretty much gets one-shotted by me. It's, it's not even like... And they don't see you either. Like, he's looking right at me and he doesn't see me. What a fucking... What a, what a prankster dead. Oh, whatever. Now he's dead. I have a bounty though. Not really a big deal. So anyways, how you level uh, blacksmithing is you go to uh, any anytime you want to find a guy and she's like not at her post, you just wait an hour and she will magically appear at her spawn spot. That's the game's way of making you not having to wait. It's pretty sweet. So what you do is you say, all right, uh, really? Come on, sell me stuff. I can't, I can't believe she's not going to sell me shit. I don't care about your problems, woman. Oh my god, let's wait an hour, another hour. Let's see if she'll sell you stuff in an hour. Alright, so what you do is you say, what have you got for sale? You buy her iron ingots. I buy her iron ore and I craft it right over there. Her leather and her leather strips, and I buy both of them, but it doesn't really matter. You can hunt for the leather. It doesn't really matter. And then you go over to the forge. After you go to both the vendors, inside and outside, she has different supplies than her husband, but other, other suppliers share supply. And I make iron daggers because they're the cheapest, and I go boom, and I make a million of them. And then I go to leather, and I make leather bracers whenever I have leather without iron and I have an excess amount of it I make that too and that levels it really fast I save all the iron daggers I get so I have something to enchant when I want to level enchanting um, the way that I level alchemy is I go to the alchemy vendors and I just buy out all the alchemy stuff 
There might be a way to glitch it so you level it faster. I don't know. I didn't look into it too much. I only had to do it once, and I didn't mind making money while I was doing it. And the other way sounded like it involved Giant's Toast. I wasn't 100% sure on it, and I really didn't care. I just did it real fast. I went to all the vendors in different towns, and I did that. And I just bought out their supplies and made alchemy stuff and sold it back to them and made a profit at every store I was at. And then I went over to uh, Dragon Reach, and there's that one wizard in Dragon Reach that sells a whole bunch of soul gems. There's also one in Winterhold that sells some soul gems in the in the inn. And then I went to the College of Winterhold, and that is where I will find uh, that's where I'll find a ton of soul gems. You can get a bow with like soul trap on it, and then it'll soul trap people every time you shoot them and then kill them or like a weapon with soul trap on it and you can craft that with enchanting and it's relatively relatively easy to do with any weapon that you like to use a lot um, and you can just buy tons of soul gems so you, like each vendor I think carries like nine petty soul gems and like seven lesser soul gems and there's three or four of them at the college of winter hold you can kinda get to every time so that's like every single trip, it's like 30 soul gems. But what I did is, while I was leveling alchemy, going from town to town, and blacksmithing going from town to town, I also leveled enchanting. So I, every every time I went through all the towns, I just would stop at this place, and I would buy all the soul gems with souls already in them. So all the petty souls and the lesser souls, i just purchase straight out. And you, oh, look at all these supplies you can steal. Just Oh, and these ones you can just fucking take. That's ballin'. But tons of them you can just steal. I mean, but pretty much what you do is you talk to this guy. What have you got for sale? Go down to his misc. And he's got a petty, one petty, and one lesser. One of each. So you're just like, okay, well, that's two. That was kind of gay. So then you walk over to this bitch over here. And he's not there. So you walk over here. And he's not there. Wait an hour. He'll show up. Maybe he'll show up. Maybe he's... Yeah, it's kind of hard to figure out where they are. They like to jump around quite a bit. That's Finnis. Drevis isn't going to... There he is. He's sleeping. But what have you got for sale? Let's see how many this fucking guy has. Yeah, one lesser, four petty. So he's got five. So, so far, I would have had seven talking to two guys. Seven souls. That's quite a bit of enchanting. Not too bad. And I know the other mages that are just them and not teachers. Like, he doesn't have anything, so fuck him. But this bitch has some. But yeah, she's got three, so I would have ten. Go to the other ones. I think each of them have approximately, like, six or seven apiece, which is pretty good. And then, yeah, they've got some fucking flowers here I can take. They've got tons of ingredients. They restock them all the time. It's really cool. Just whenever you whenever you need it, it feels like it's there. And you're just like, oh, poof. Any and all the ingredients. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So the last thing I'd kind of say about this guy is... Uh, if you're going to kill... If you're going to fight against Cicero, is I'd kill him instead of letting him live because you you can't kill him later on like he doesn't die he becomes a permanent guy in the game and he follows you around if you tell him to which is kind of cool because he says a lot of funny shit and I really got a kick out of it but eventually you get good enough where you're just like well I don't even need someone to follow me around I'm better you know like I'm good on my own I'm good and Pretty much the only thing that gets better is the hat, and it, I think it goes up to 35%, so you get 5% better at sneaking. But the clothes, prices are better by 12%. It goes, both of these numbers go up to 20%. One-handed dam, one weapon damage isn't affected by daggers, unfortunately. Like gear, you can enchant to be better at one-handed, even though you can see, see that I did, because I didn't realize it. I mean, it's a one-handed attack. you think it would work like that way, but it doesn't. The game is weird like that. It's glitched like that. It's made like that. Just Beth Bethesda doesn't know what they're doing. But, yeah, that's pretty much the only piece of gear that is changed by it is the hat. But, it, you know, I mean, it's 5% better at sneaking. Better than nothing. And I guess prices are better by 20% if you're too lazy to make a stamina robe like I am. Oh, uh... 
and when you level up, I always put points into health just because if you play in master difficulty, bitches can be really tough and it's good to uh it's good to have a good amount of health. But yeah, that was just my complete walkthrough of how to make a character in Skyrim. I don't think anything I don't think I missed anything. Oh yeah, I did. <clears throat> um one thing you're gonna wanna do in every character that you make is go to Riften. And pretty much in Riften, what you're gonna be doing is the Book of Love storyline. And what that is is you go to the Temple of Mara, it's right above the Thieves Guild, and you do like three stupid talking quests and you pretty much just talk through it and you're like, Oh, you should do this and you give people love advice. I didn't pay attention to that because it's not fantasy or gaming related in any way. But the quest reward you get from it is 15% resist magic. Resist magic just general. So you get 15% more resist magic. And the way resistances stack is under active effects. You can kind of see it. But you've got resist magic, resist magic, resist magic. I use the Lord Stone. I can show you where that is in a second. 25% magic resistance is just a buff that goes on you for the whole game. But you get... 85 max resistance and resist magic is applied first and then resist element is applied second but I don't have any of my gear on that is resist element right now so first off it's resist magic after that's applied it's resist element so in essence if you have 85 resist all and then then that's to magic and then it's only 15 percent damage is what you're going to be taking from that element and if you have you know, like, 80, 81 resist, or 82 resist frost, or whatever it is, and then it's going to take an additional 82% off of that 15% remaining, so it goes down to 3%. So pretty much, I don't take damage from anything as a Brenton, because you get a passive Brenton ability that's 25% resist magic all, which is pretty sweet. But over here, oops, <clears throat> I do that a lot when I switch games up. I'm just trying to figure out how to run. It looks like they're getting in a fight over here which is kind of funny um but yeah this is the temple of mara you just go through these gates over here there's grilla the kind over that way oops over that way so yeah temple of mara right in here do the main temple quest and uh 15 resist magic fucking overpowered